Double limbs, it's your boy Keith. And it's your girl Mandy. Ew, ew. Yeah, and we back. Mm-hmm. With another video, video, video. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Today's topic of discussion. Mm. You're going to tell them, aren't you? <laughs> we, we're dealing with marriage now. We're yeah, dealing we're dealing with marriage. marriage. Always with marriage, you guys, on this channel. And it is going to be about when is it time to move on from your marriage hmm. that's a pretty um mm, 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 mm. Mm. pretty um big question i would say it's a tough question you know how do you know when it's time to move on because some people have moved on in their marriage and um ended up getting remarried yeah well, yeah, some have moved on. Mm-hmm. They're still there physically, but yeah. mentally, they've already moved yeah, on. Yeah, they've already checked out. Yeah, that's All true. All right, so this is gonna be uh, mm-hmm. this is gonna be something here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, some people, now some people say you should do everything within your power to make your marriage work, and I know that term is is used so loosely. You mm-hmm. hear it all the time. But what is doing everything to make your marriage work? And do you really feel like you put in the effort toward doing those things to make the marriage work? Some people have thrown in the towel and they they haven't done any work. They just made up their mind that this is not what they want anymore. You know, they've given up so quickly on the marriage that they feel there's nothing left there to salvage or to save. And they just made up in their mind, I'm gone, I'm done. Um, what are some things you think somebody can do, babe, to kind of like help them um, restore their marriage back to where it was once loving and happy and things like that? Um, well, sometimes you have to get someone involved. I agree. Um, but let's not go there just of yet. Uh, the first thing is to figure out why you have uh, given up. Mm -hmm. How do we get here? Uh, Yes. Um, And and that's determining uh, a determining factor for both of you. So it's going to be some sit down time. And I know some of this stuff sounds repetitive because Mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. In order for a marriage to work, there are going to be some repetitive and uh, repetitiveness and mm-hmm. some constant situa- uh, situations that um, involves consistency. Yeah, reoccurring. You're going to be yeah. reoccurring and revisiting certain things yeah. in your marriage because, it, like I said, at different points of a marriage, you're working on different things. You know, yeah. At different points in your marriage, you're working on different things that you probably <clears> worked <throat> on last year. They're probably resurfacing again because we're humans and human behavior sometimes becomes repetitive. Yep. And that's so true. Mm-hmm. And you have to uh, take a step back and first look at yourself. Mm. Not looking at the other uh, individual, but looking at yourself and seeing what's going on. That's it. Uh, remember what I said before about writing things down. Oh, yeah, you if did say you that. you need to take some notes upon yourself and write these things that uh, are flaws within yourself down so you can see what the other person um, sees that you don't see. True, true, true. And then that comes into uh, allowing somebody else. um, If there is no compromise, you sometimes have to allow someone else to step in to uh, help the marriage out. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about, oh, a friend or the family. A counselor. Kind of some counseling, some mm-hmm. marriage counseling. Uh, some, or even some coaching. Yes. You know, getting with you a life coach or a marital, a marital coach. You know, somebody who um, has been married a long time but has studied marriages, have dealt with different type of marriages, 
who can provide you some insight. I don't feel like everyone can give you the best of the best advice to save your marriage. Yeah, because they don't have to have a quote-unquote yeah. PhD. No, they don't. In marital no, they don't. They don't. advice, because mm -hmm. everybody's not going to mm -hmm. have that. No, they're not. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because some may seek um, marital counseling advice from a minister. True, from the pastor, you yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of biblical and religious um, aspects when it comes to marriage. That's true. Uh, so... Um, what are some other things? What do you think that, um, some people can go to retreats. Some people can go okay. where they go on trips where they would be around other married couples and everybody is sharing, um, what they've gone through in their marriage. People are sharing how they've been able to, um, resolve that issue in the marriage and every, everybody's marriage is not the same. Yeah. So whatever somebody else is doing to resolve a matter in their marriage may not work for you, but it can give you some type of direction as to how you can come up with a way to resolve your own issues. And with that being said, how much quality time are you giving the marriage? Mm -hmm. Because that may be a complication that brought you here in the first place. That's true. Because sometimes in a relationship, even if you're not married, if you're in a relationship and your partner feels as if they're not getting enough of your quality time, they're not spending that much time with you, they feel like they're not in a relationship with you because you're not present enough. Mm -hmm. So it will create issues. I don't care who you are. I don't care how many times you want to say, oh, you knew this about me before you got with me. That is a cop-out. We yeah. all know we knew Excuse. things about each other's each other before we got together. However, what are we doing now? And we're in this relationship to, now. We're here now. To, to handle that. To handle the matter. To, yes. Because mm -hmm. one thing, you don't want to feel like you competing mm -hmm. against... One another. Some, some, something that's taking the uh, attention, attention from, from you in the, from in the that relationship. that significant other. Mm -hmm. Where it's a job, where it's another BFF, True. where it's a device, whether it being mm -hmm. uh, TV shows, a telephone, um, what, whatever it can be, mm -hmm. you know that may be taking the attention from you sitting down with your significant other, um, engaging them, and working on your relationship. That's right. Yeah, so I, I would definitely agree with that. You don't want to, you, you know, any nobody wants to feel like there is something that's so much more important than them that there's no balance in the relationship, that there's no time for me. There's no time for us to be together. You know, when people start feeling lonely in their relationship, like I said, they feel like they're not in one. So then they start talking to you about, hey, what are we doing here? Do we need to go ahead and break up? Do we need to go ahead and dissolve this marriage? Because, I mean, it's like we're not we're not together. We're not having any intimacy. We're not spending any quality time together. We're not doing anything. We're not making any plans. And um, people start to feel lonely in their relationship when, when it's like that. And... Um as well, if the person is not coming to you, talking to you about these matters, mm -hmm. you can trust and believe nine times out of ten, they're conversing with someone else already Ready. about those affairs. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful mm -hmm. that they have not already left mentally and physically from the relationship from the relationship but yep that's true uh, Be because um when you don't when you when you don't talk and you don't communicate <clears throat> and you and you and you're having these feelings that you're alone in the relationship you will seek out conversation with the opposite sex or with someone else um, that you feel is giving you that attention, you will then start to consider, you know, um, infidelity in the marriage and doing things you ain't got no business doing. When it's simple as, okay, we need to sit down and have a conversation. Where is mm. this going? Do we not want to be in this relationship anymore? Um, you know, is it, is it, can we work on it? Do we, do we have any ways we want to work on it? Want to go see a counselor? Want to go see our pastor? What do we want to do? But 
when you really love somebody and care about somebody and you know you really love your marriage and you want to be in your marriage, you will talk to your mate before you go out here doing all these other conniving and mischievous things. You know, I feel that way anyway. Because I know the only bopping I want done, dance move, is under my roof. Ain't no bopping going, going <laughs> on nowhere else. I know that's right. I know that's right. <laughs> Ain't no opening and closing of the leg. Bopping. <laughs> going out there with with no, uh no I, I i couldn't do personally me i couldn't do that because i'm i'm just straight up i can't I, I i don't i wear my feelings on my sleeve i say how i feel i don't bite my tongue i don't have no filter sometimes i'm working on it lord thank you help me but i'm the kind of person i have to talk to my husband when something's bothering me i have to over the years my husband has become my best friend honest to god you know, I don't always treat him like a best friend, but he is. He is, honestly. I feel like I can talk to him about everything and anything, and I know that it's not going anywhere outside of our home, outside of our conversation. I know that's the one person I can trust like that, yeah. who, who that the, I can who, share things with. Who, who, the girl, who the girl, the queen girl say she going to call up some, who? I'm going to call up Tito. I'm going to call no, up Tito. No, she Tito. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever she She's called. She's gonna it. call up Brian and Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian, a... Ryan, and Lorenzo, honey. <laughs> yeah, no, I ain't call. Them. I ain't call up nobody else. No, no, <laughs> Ty no, no, Tyrone, no, no, no. you out the picture too. They ain't calling you either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not calling you either, Tyrone. Nobody. I'm gonna go talk to my husband if there's a problem in my marriage. And I feel like when they say, "Have you done all you can do?" You need to really, really think about that. Have you done all you can do? And when there were problems, did you really work on the things your husband or your wife or your your uh, your significant other said that was bothering them in the relationship? Did you really put forth an effort to work on those problems, or did you just you know heard what they said, but maybe worked on it, maybe worked on it for a couple of weeks and then you went back to your old ways? Because mm. people sometimes do that and mm. you don't realize you're doing that. Like you will tend to say, "Oh, I'm going to change. God working on me." Yeah, you say that, and then you go right Message. back to that old behavior. Message. A couple of weeks ago, that. and I'm guilty of it. So that's why I know you'll go right back to that old behavior, and then you have to you have to find yourself going right back working on the same thing y'all just talked about a couple months ago. That's why I said in marriage it is repetition because you constantly are revisiting issues in your marriage and having to work on it. And if you have not done everything possible, if you have not done enough effective communication, you haven't went to see a counselor, you haven't prayed together. Boom! Praying together. That right is the there. most important thing. You got to sometimes get on right your knees and there. say, We're baby, let's just pray right, right now. There. Let's just pray right now. Let's just stop everything. Let's pray right now. How you have many to do that. times have you took the initiative, whether it's the man mm -hmm. or the woman, mm -hmm. the male, all the female, mm -hmm. and said, God, please help me out. And I know we've, we've touched on this before. Mm -hmm. Now, just to reiterate on that, we gave a movie. The War Room. The War Room. Mm -hmm. if Good you movie. Y'all haven't checked that out. Y'all check that out, please. Couple. Mm -hmm. Don't even have to... If you someone and you with someone and you love them, this is a good movie to watch. Mm -hmm. If you're a family, that means wife got the kids, all that. This is good for them too. Mm -hmm. This is good for the kids. This is a very family-oriented movie. It is, y'all. Take time out. Look for that particular movie and watch it. Mm -hmm. If you're going through something right now, with your significant other. Find that movie. If you don't have the words to express yourself. Mm -hmm. Say hey. I want you to watch something with me. Amen. Amen. Sit down. Carve out some time. And watch that movie. Even if they can't give you. But 15 minutes. Watch the first 15 minutes. And I guarantee. That would change. Uh. It'll give you some perspective. Life. It'll definitely give you some perspective in, in, in um, your life, in your marriage, in your relationship, whatever it may be. Because I'm telling you, um, <clears throat> praying for your spouse, praying for your significant other, praying for the other person you're in a relationship with is so important. It is so important to pray. And I didn't realize, and, and I've always known how important prayer was because I was raised in the church, but I didn't realize 
how important it was in my marriage until my marriage was having problems. And I would pray for my husband. I would be sitting at work sometimes with my eyes closed, just praying to God and saying, Lord, you know, help me to be a better wife. Help me to be a better woman. And, and it's real. Yeah. Likewise, um, we both read in the church. So I had a good foundation of what you're supposed to be doing. Um, uh, heavily, um, you know, worked. I'm sorry. I get teary-eyed yeah. because... I just know what it means to me to um, pray, to be happy, to to want to want to have a healthy marriage, you know. And this relationship right here is, is so important to me. It's so important to me. Mm -hmm. I love my husband. And, and it's it's important that we help everyone else, yes. you know, uh, with it as we mm -hmm. work on, on our own marriage, absolutely together. Because uh, we we know that there's uh, a many uh, oh, man. people out there that are looking uh, for answers. They got questions mm -hmm. or wondering, uh, do people have the same similarities or the same liking to experiences in their marriage, but don't know um, how about to ask mm -hmm. different questions or they don't want to seem too embarrassed right. because, oh, I don't want nobody to know that I'm going through these or particular Or I don't think troubles. nobody understands because they're not going through what I'm going through. People, trust me, people, everyone is going through the same thing in their marriage. Or have or been, have through, been through it. Thing. Even if you're going through something different because the dynamics of your relationship is different than someone else. Whether you be in a same-sex relationship, whether you be in a man and opposite-sex relationships, it doesn't matter. Everybody is facing the same exact problems at yeah. one point or another. Lack of communication, lack of affection, um, people stepping out of the marriage, cheating and doing different things. Everyone is going through We're all going through it together. And that's why this channel is so important to us because we hope and pray that someone is touched by the message that someone marriage can be saved because of the message. It's so yeah. important to me and it's so important to my husband. It really is important to us. And it, it's up to all of us. Absolutely. To push and uplift and provide mm -hmm. as much information as we, as can. we can. Oh my Lord, it is. To help each other advance mm -hmm. and stay within our marriage. That's it, right. It's so important. I want to be able to be, I don't know how long you two going to be up, <laughs> but I want to be able to, in the, whatever year social media's change and transitions, I want to be sitting next to the same man telling y'all that I love him, that we still have a good marriage. Because like I said, people can be married for years and be, and just be existing. There's no marriage. There's, there's two people existing in the same home. You know, under the same roof. I don't want that. I want to actually have a marriage for 50 years. A real marriage for 50, 60 years. I want that. Yeah. God willing, I want that. And still crying. Look at her. <laughs> I can't help it. I love you. <laughs> Y'all, it's a tough patch. It is. It's, it's, it's tough. But yes. what life situation wasn't tough right you know if you um you heard us say you we um we've experienced mm -hmm. staying on the street when we was uh uh a little younger mm -hmm. we experienced different things in our life those Absolutely. are story times yeah for the but if you can endure all those things mm -hmm. but you can't endure something <laughs> um something small as being in a committed and uh a committed relationship vow between you and God and that particular uh person that you chose to be in your life mm -hmm. dang that that speaks volumes about you it does it, it does. speaks volumes it does. a little communication go a long way and some prayer communication and prayer those are the biggest, biggest things you must have in a marriage. We must be able to pray together and we must be able to communicate. Yeah. 
We have to be able to communicate. And everybody can't talk at the same time. And everybody can't get mad because what the other person is feeling. We have to just listen and really, really listen and understand where the person is coming from and understand why they're saying what they're saying. Because the city say that you don't get it. I ain't this 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 marriage is not working because of mm-hmm. you. No, it's not working because of us, because we're both in this marriage. Yep. We're both in this marriage. We're both in this together. We both took vows before the Lord saying that we were going to love, cherish, you know, to death do us part, for better or for worse. And then when things get worse, we always want to run. No, we can't. We can't live our life like that. We have to live our life knowing that we have enough in us to fight for what we want. We have enough to fight for our marriage. Yeah. And sometimes we have to fight for our marriage. We do. Yeah. There, there have been breaking points in this marriage where I've cried and I've felt hurt and my husband has felt hurt by things I've done. But we have to communicate. We have to pray and we have to trust that, you know what? God is going to guide us on this journey together. And we're going to be right here together at at the end of the day. That's what it is. I ain't going nowhere. In the last one that we had, um, as far as we dealt with retreats, praying together, Mm -hmm. um, getting getting, uh, counseling, is have you uh, read any uh, books? books? Um, What authors uh, are you seeking um, advice um, as far as um, to there's help a, you within there's these. a good one too that we could tell them about let me um no I want to get the name right on it as she do as she's looking that up we know that there's all different types of material out there and if you can go and and read all these uh love and uh, uh different other type of books that has to do with sex and the cartel and all these kind of books like this, but you won't pick up a book to help you out with some marital advice to help you and your uh, loved one advance um, for now and beyond. Shake my head. Shake my head. I know that's right. I'm trying to find the name of the book for you guys that I want you guys to check out. Um, It was a book that we got right when we first got married. I actually know the author. Um, His name is Jerry Gurley. He's an attorney. Mm -hmm. And um, he wrote a book. And I'm going to tell you, him and his wife have been married over 30-something years. And um, they wrote a book together. And it's called The Seven Requirements of a godly marriage and even if you're not you know a religious person or whatever it doesn't matter what type of relationship you're you are in this book is really good you can find it on um, amazon.com they have it on kindle there's book samples you can actually order i actually ordered the um paperback book and i've read the book and um it is a good book and there's a lot of good tips in this about communication about praying together and um mr Gurley is also a pastor um in the orlando area and, um, you know, you could tell when you get around him and his wife that who you see is what you get. It's real. They have a lot of respect for each other. They work together in the law firm. And you could just kind of tell that um, the things they wrote in this book came from experience. And I like to um, talk to people who are speaking from a place of experience because there's nothing better than getting the truth from people. The good, the bad, the ugly, Mm -hmm. and, you know, everything. Because you want to know how you can really effectively work on your marriage. And I'm going to actually link um, the Amazon um, link for the book in our description box. You guys, please check that book out. It's really a good book. You guys got to buy that book. It's a really good book. Also, to go along with that book Mm -hmm. is... uh, Tony Gaskins. Yes. Real good line coach. I had to I had the um blessing to to meet him in person. Mm-hmm. Um and such a, a down to earth real uh, mm-hmm. guy. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you can tell he's very uh family oriented uh with uh with him. Him, his sons, his wife, uh Sherry, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, but he has a book mm-hmm. called Real Love. Yes, we have that book um, as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have so a couple of his books, actually, a few of them. You can. Um, um, you can get it on Amazon.com, it, too. On Amazon, And I'll link too. that one as well. And that'll be down in the description box below. His name, again, is 
Tony Gaskins, mm -hmm. and uh, the book is Real Love. Um, he's coming straight forward to the point and raw. And if you guys have read these books we're talking about, let us know in the, um, in the comments. Yes. Let us know in the comments because we definitely want to, um, yeah, it's, it's actually on here, paperback, and you can get it in Kindle. It's on here available for $9.99 right now. We'll link it, like I said, below. He also have um, another book on here. Um, his wife wrote a book, Sherry Gaston wrote a book called The Wife Type, um, $4.99. So, hey, like I said, they got a lot of books on here, you guys. We read these people. Um, and so we definitely want you to um, check out the books. We're not going to hold up too much of your time, yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? We just wanted to talk about, um, you know, when is it time to let the marriage go and why do most people not want to work on it or why they say I've done all I can do, but really they haven't. Yeah, and you know? trust and believe, we know um, abusive relationship, things of that nature. Yeah, we know hey, certain you things. already know what to do. Yeah. If you stay in there, um, mm -hmm. you know the song, what the songs say, it's at your own risk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that we understand. Hey, we're talking about when somebody burns the cornbread <laughs> and you're not w willing to uh, compensate or, you know, come together and compromise on, compromise the, yeah, yeah. on the situation and, mm -hmm. and talk things through, but yeah. just ready to get out of Dodge. Yeah. If, it's, if it's somebody's not abusing you, beating you, um, you know, harming you, harming your children in any kind of way, things like that, then, you know the marriage should be able to be worked on. You yes. know, this, it's been a loving marriage and we just having a breakdown in communication or there's a breakdown in us being affectionate, spending time together, those kind of things. We can work on that. Uh, we can work on that. Something with finance. Yeah, we can work on but that. But we don't want to babble on. No, we, we kept don't. you long, long enough. enough. Hey, don't don't forget. Like, subscribe, subscribe. share the video, share the video, share, share the video. Comment down below about the books, Tony Gaskins. Check them out. Check them out um, now. Mr. Gurley. Yeah, Jerry Gurley. Check All out the right. books. I'm going to put the links in the description box below. So check those books out. All Real right. Love and The Seven Requirements to a Godly Marriage. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So you can be notified of all the videos that we have in store for you so you don't miss out. And don't forget to check out the Epic Empire family. There are links in the description box Ooh. below. That's going to be PR Gang, 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 Gang. and T and Lee TV. That's right. And don't forget. Positive, positive minds, minds build yeah. great bodies. But even greater, greater marriages. marriages. Ah. <laughs> Later.